In the prior video, we had seen how to deploy an Azure web app and an app service plan in Terraform. In this chapter, let's modify our Terraform configuration file in such a way that it can pick up code from a GitHub repository. So as developers, you might be very well aware of GitHub. You know, you can actually host your repositories when it comes onto your source code and you have version management and much more that actually is built into GitHub. Now, it's very easy to go ahead and sign up for a GitHub account. It's completely free. I'm going to sign in with my GitHub account. So here in GitHub, I do have some repositories in place. Here I have Visual Studio 2022 open. This is the community edition. So you can actually go ahead on to the site for Visual Studio and you can download the community edition of Visual Studio 2022. It's free of cost and it's an easy installation. I've already installed Visual Studio. I've opened up Visual Studio. Here I'll hit on create a new project. In terms of the template, I want to choose ASP.NET Core Web App. If you don't see, just go on searching for templates and search for ASP.NET Core Web App. I'll choose this is for the language of C Sharp. Go on to next. Just give a simple project name. This is in one of my template locations. Go on to next. In the framework, I'll choose .NET 6.0 and I'll hit on create. We're not going to make much changes on to the default project. I just want to publish this code onto GitHub. In the pages, I'll just go on to the index page. Here I'll say, welcome to Terraform. Just save this. Now I'll go on to my solution. I'll right click. I'll choose to create a Git repository. I need to sign in onto my GitHub account. Here it is sending me on to an authorization screen where I need to enter my username and password. I'll sign in. Once this is done, here I can see my owner. Here is the repository name. So it's going to create a repository, a GitHub repository with the name of web app. I do want this to be a private repository. I want this to be a public repository so that uh, we can actually pick up the code in Terraform and then deploy it onto our Azure web app. Let me do a create and push. So after just a few seconds, you will see that it has gone ahead and published everything onto GitHub. At the same time, you will see lock symbols in front of your code artifacts to signify that now it is linked onto a Git based repository. In GitHub, if I just refresh this page, I can see web app. It's now a repository. If I go on to it, I should be seeing my project files. If I go on to pages, if I go on to the index page that we had changed. So let me go on to the HTML part. I can see welcome to Terraform. Now, as part of Terraform, I want to pick up this project from GitHub and deploy it onto our Azure web app. Now, before we actually do this, so let me go on to the existing web app that we had deployed based on our previous Terraform configuration. Let me go on to the configuration for this web app. If I go on to general settings, here in terms of the stack, it is .NET. In terms of the .NET version, it's showing has ASP.NET version 4.8. But our project on a local machine is based on .NET 6. So when you deploy the Azure web app in its default mode via Terraform, understand the default .NET version that gets picked up. Now, we can change the version of .NET for our web app. That actually can be done via the setting of site config. So let me 
copy the site config configuration for my Azure web app. I'll just place it down here, the closing parentheses. And here I just need to change the version from version 4.0 onto version 6.0. Now let's create the plan again. Ideally now it should only have a change that needs to be made onto our Azure web app. So based on the refresh, it's only one to change. So let's add that configuration change. Let's apply the change. And let's wait till this is complete. So now we seem to be hitting an error when it comes on to trying to change the framework version. Now, one reason for this is because of the app service plan. We have the free app service plan and the limitations that it has. So if I actually change the app service plan from the free, so I can't even choose the share. I have to choose the basic or higher. I'll save this. Let me again create a plan. Then let me apply the plan. So now it has gone ahead and made the changes. So if I go on to my web app, let me go on to configuration again. On the general settings, here I can see the .NET version has changed on to .NET 6. If I go on to all resources, if I go on to my app service plan, currently see it's B1, that's the basic app service plan. At any point in time, you can actually scale up or scale down the app service plan. So if you're using the free app service plan, you can go on to the scale up section and you can scale up or even scale down your app service plan accordingly. So now the next step, if I want to put the Terraform configuration to pick up my code from GitHub, let me go back here. I'm going to add a separate section here when it comes on to source control. Here we are telling to pick up now the code from our web app repository from within GitHub. This is my account. I'm saying to take it from the master branch. So if you go back onto your repository, here you have the master branch. Here in terms of two more properties that are required, it's the manual integration, which is true. So whenever we make a change onto the code in the GitHub repository, we have to do a manual sync of our web app and the GitHub repository. So let me save this. And let's again create a plan. Then let me apply it. And let's come back once this is complete. Now, once the change is complete, if I just hit on refresh for my web app, so now we can see our .NET application being reflected here. So Terraform has now made a configuration change onto the Azure web app. The Azure web app is now actually picking up the code from our Git repository. If you actually go on to the Azure web app. Here, you know, if you go on to deployment center, I'll just hide this. Here you know, in these settings, you can see that now the source is external Git. We can see our repository and we can see the master branch. So Terraform has actually now made a change when it comes on to how the source code can be picked up from an external Git repository. In our case, it's GitHub.